Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome to another IP Tut. I am Phil and today we will be talking about the day for night effect. Um, first off, I'd like to say thanks to uh, Film Riot for actually having the Monday challenge which actually gave me the opportunity to do this effect because I probably wouldn't have done it in the first place if, if it wasn't for the Monday challenge. So uh, thank you to uh, Ryan, Bruno, Josh and the rest of the whole Film Riot crew. Love watching this show. You guys are amazing. Um, you guys should hit me up. We should do a lot of work together for no reason at all just to do it. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and go over this day for night effect. Um, this may take a minute. Not really sure how long this tutorial is going to take, so um, I'm going to try to go as fast as I can. If you have any questions, any concerns, if I miss something, you don't understand something, drop a comment. Hit me up on the Facebook fan page, Inconsistent Pictures. Um, I will answer them the best of my abilities. You can even hit me up on Twitter. It goes straight to my phone. So either way you guys want to do it, I will answer your questions. All right. Um, so yeah. So here, let's go ahead and get started. All right. So first, let's let me let me go ahead and show you guys the uh, the setup we have going on here. Let me go ahead and preview this really quick. All right. So we have David. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, we live in California, uh, and the sun is on the other side of going down um, where where we at our front yard at the side we have this really big tree here which gives us a lot of shade per se in the front yard when you're doing this effect you definitely want to stay away from light at nighttime there is no light unless you have a light and that's the reason why we have a flashlight and the porch light is on um, another thing is our porch light really quick the porch light itself is actually flickering there, for some reason there's something wrong with it didn't know that until we started filming um, somebody asked me hey why are you you know why is the light flickering what it doesn't even look good I didn't have a choice as you can see it's flickering on its own I think it's a ghost I'm not really sure but anyways either way it, it made the whole creepiness a lot better so yeah um, where was I light you definitely want to, you know, stay away from light. You can see a little bit of spill here coming from the trees. Uh, you know, the sunlight coming through the tree, which is fine. No big deal. I'm going to show you guys how to, you know, how to draw attention away from that. As well as reflections. At nighttime, the reflections themselves are non-existent once again unless it's coming from light. Um, and this this is kind of a dead giveaway. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to fix that as well. All right. So... Let's see, was there anything else? Make sure you stay in the shade. Um, and use, I would, I, I like to call it common sense. At nighttime, you need light. So we have our porch light on. We have a flashlight in hand, um, which isn't on. Um, I wanted to fake it in post for two reasons. One, I wanted to see exactly how, how much I can push it in post. And two, well, the batteries were dead, and I was too lazy to actually put new batteries in there, so we were going to have to fake it regardless, but we chose to go with the creepy night scene for that effect because nighttime, you need light, um, gives you the night feel. All right, so enough rambling. Let's do this. All right, so first off, color grading the footage itself to look like nighttime. Um, really, really simple, actually. Um, I use Colorista, too okay it's just my preferred you can go ahead right click go to uh, effect color correction and then mess with your exposures or um, your saturation and stuff like that from there uh, hue and saturation which is here to drop the saturation you know when I go over that uh, exposure as well. You can even do some curves to drop the shadows and really crunch things. You can use levels as well. Um, all those things are what you're going to want to use. You can even use tint to go black and white and then bring the color back into it. That's totally up to you. Shadow highlights, stuff like that. So those are kind of the filters you guys are going to want to use if you're if you don't have um, Colorista too. I do. It's my workflow. Sorry if you don't have it. You like I said, you can follow through. Or follow along with those all right so first off exposure it's nighttime you want to drop that exposure as much as you can um, while you know still being able to tell what's going on here all right for me it was 1.28 but for you it may be different um, primary density that's kind of that's kind of contrast um, and or brightness of the whole image per se I just dropped the brightness down 
and then what I went ahead and did is I went ahead and tinted it blue just a bit now in actuality nighttime isn't blue it's black it's dark but through film we've come to this whole tint things to a dark blue dark purple to simulate nighttime um it it goes you know color theory and goes into the motion of the film and stuff like that so yeah we just went with blue i mean you can definitely go with the purple you know try to uh, maybe push it just a little too much here let's see let's go ahead and you can purpleize it just a bit look at that bam but that's all on you guys blue purple same difference saturation once again at night time you can't see color there's no light to refract what that color actually is if you've ever seen a silhouette of a person it's extremely hard to tell what color they're wearing because there's no light so you can drop your saturation down a lot for me here I went down 35 for you may be different depending on your your actual film or your footage alright um, so yeah so so we want to go ahead and drop the, the saturation down um, and as you can see here what's going on is it's actually crushing this this light and that's another reason why I had to fake it in post with that lens flare um, because of the fact that editing this I mean I could have created a mask and then went through all that nonsense but once again I wanted to go the least amount of work while putting you know trying to get the most realistic feel to it um, I could have put a mask around it and then feathered that mask and then it would give you that full rich color coming from that but once again yeah who cares I don't want to do it alright so here so going forward let's see that's it as far as color grading I mean drop you know drop the shadows the highlights um, and if you have any lights make sure you have them on in the scene um, it's nighttime so at night you have your porch lights on that's why our porch light is on at night if you're looking for something you're traveling you would need a flashlight that's why David has a flashlight in hand um, I mean some I, I was watching some of the videos and I saw that you know they had headlights on for cars and stuff like that and that really sells the effect because it's not nighttime and you're driving around without your headlights on that just kills the whole thing unless there's a specific reason inside of the story like the guy's creeping or to drive by whatever the case may be you know other than that the headlights are on it's nighttime all right um, so you definitely want to make sure your lights are on and everything that applies to it being dark is going on all right um, let's go ahead and start with correcting this uh, what I did for this like I said um, this tree is kind of killing it the reflection and even up here up top you can kind of see the roof where the sun is actually hitting you see this light part here what I went ahead and did was I went and grabbed a <clears throat> adjustment layer grab the exposure right click uh, effect color correction exposure down here and I just dropped it down a lot then what I did was I created a mask up here and I just feathered it then I just got it on this one side and then I actually just keyframed just that one section so from that entire side of the house let me go ahead and move down here the mask is sitting on this edge since I know my actor never crosses that part I just crushed that sucker and just moved it along with it uh, no big deal and um, I actually went ahead and duplicated that layer and tossed it over to this this left side as well because once again it's nighttime so wherever there's not light it's completely freaking black um, but this is a movie you know you want to be able to retain some kind of visibility so I didn't make it completely black but I did darken it quite a bit um, and all I did with that was <laughs> exactly what I did over here but I just took it control D duplicated the layer all right then just scooted it over hit W to rotate it and then I just rotated it on this side and then that was it um, I even think the keyframes are still there yeah the keyframes are still there from the animating over here um, which is fine because my actor kinda moves to this side so it's okay um, and then so we fix that left side and the right side and the cool thing about this is it's, it gives you that dark cold feel to where only thing that is you know primarily visible is the center part where my actor is going to be um, and that's you know when it's dark 
you only see where the light source and stuff like that so moving forward what we have now is I went ahead and like I said I knew I was gonna have to fake the flashlight in post so I tracked it added it to a null object and I did the same thing with the um, the the porch light as well I got my my null objects going on here which is this one and is that did I delete them already no they're still there here we go and we got the null objects going on here um, you know you just simple track it I'm pretty sure you guys I'm pretty sure you guys have done some tracking before so I'm not gonna go through those steps here um if you don't know now nah, let me know and I'll see if I can get you a tutorial on that um so here let's go ahead continuing let's see so flashlight since it's tracked we're good ready to go um this lens flare this lens flare is actually one of the standard ones from video copilot I didn't wanna uh, use a custom one per se I did add this little rainbow ring to it but all in all it's optical flares let's see one second optical flares and then it was motion motion graphics no it wasn't that one it was I know where it's at it is this one beam this is the one I used and then I just added a little rainbow ring to it and that's what you get you know um, and that's kind of the flare now once again with that flashlight not being on I had to fake it a lot in actuality where he's angled at at this time there wouldn't have been a flare the light bulb would have been hidden by the side of the actual flashlight so there wouldn't have been a flare on the screen but since we have to fake it in post there's a flare on the screen um, and that's kind of the basic thing with the the porch as well um, that I don't know if that little diffuser would have actually caused a flare or not but once again I wanted to have it there so I went and added it um, now there's actually something subtle I don't well you guys should be able to see it there is the beam of light that actually comes from this um, at first I wasn't going to have it I kinda stumbled upon it um, as I was looking for a good flare to use um, and it I was like hey you know that looks just like the light so I went ahead and ran with it um, what that is once again that's another flare from optical flares um, but this one is search light as soon as I figure out where it's at don't know exactly where per se here we go. Wow, I'm good. It's this one right here. It's just searchlight. Um, I went ahead and dropped down the size of that initial glow there to basically nothing, um, and then I just animated it. It, it's all. All of that is um, parented to that null object to follow as the flashlight goes along, and then all I did was watch the way he moved his hand. Did I just say that? I watched the way he moved his hand. Okay, there we go. And um, let's see. Let me go ahead and bring up the keyframes. Holy wow! Uh, using this, the center position, I was able to kind of manipulate where the beam itself goes, as you can see there. So I mean, that was kind of tedious, but it definitely it it definitely sold the effect of the light being on. Um, in my opinion I looking at it you're like is that light actually on yeah, no it's not but it, it definitely gives you that feel that it is as you can see here and then as he would point at the camera here is I would just simply move that center position closer to the inside see so that's how the lens flare would actually look in real life you know but moving it for him you know simulating it gave us that whole flashlight effect here uh... let's see what else we have going on here okay so we have that we have that so we got that flare we have the porch light and the porch light once again i just had to go through frame by frame watch when it did and did not dim out you can see the keyframes here um, and when it dimmed out then i would just lower it and when it didn't you know and such like that kind of common sense on that part uh, let's see where else are we um, 
Another thing I like to do when dealing with my lens flares is I will duplicate the flashlight beam, this main one, that one right there. I duplicate it and then I set it to stencil alpha. And the reason for that Matt, is watch this. It gives off this almost uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It gives off this high contrast of light from that one source. So all I did was duplicate it, control D, and then change it. So now you can see these edges here. Okay, these edges, bam. Really, really dark while that center is still nice and bright. Um, let's see. All my lens flares are changed to add. Uh, most of the time, dealing, you know, watching the tutor tutorials and stuff like that, you'll see most people, they will do it this way. They'll grab it, they'll turn this to screen, and they have this one set to on black. Um, uh, you know what? I, I just, me personally, I don't like it that way. Um, it just it doesn't pop for me. For me, I have to have it on add. You see, you see, you see that difference there. Look at that. You see that difference? Just that subtle difference can change everything. Um, that's just my personal opinion. Then I just leave it on transparent. Um, I mean, you can leave it on black if you want, but I have to have mine on add. Drop that stencil off, and you're set and ready to go. You got your beam going on. Let's go ahead and run preview this really quick. So that's basically the effect here. Um, once again, at nighttime, it's dark. So everything that the light isn't touching, <laughs> Lion King, um, sorry, everything that the light isn't touching is dark. You know, you, you really shouldn't be able to see it. So, yeah, that's basically it. Let's see. Here we go. So that's, that's, let me go ahead and drop that up. Here we go. Perfect. So that's basically if, basically the effect there. Um, we have our dark edges here. We have our simulated light and lens flares coming from there. Um, we have our porch light that flickers um, unintentionally, but we ran with it in post. Went ahead and fixed the reflections in the window, darkened up the tree to get rid of this hot spot that lies here. Um, you can't really see the roof here in the top right-hand corner once again because we did fix it by dropping the exposure on that side using an adjustment layer and as well as this side uh, I think that is it once again if you guys have any questions let me know say hi um, I'll answer them thanks once again film right for the Monday challenges I can't wait for the next one which I believe is lightsabers that's going to be fun alright so here goes the final preview I, I'm, I'm extremely proud of this effect so thank you for watching. We're running up on like 20 some odd, 20 minutes, give or take. So that is it. Once again, don't forget to subscribe. I will be doing a lot more tutorials um, in the future. Thank you guys. Thank you, Film Right. You guys have a great day. Comment, hit me up on Facebook. Y'all take care. Bye.